Pixel density. It seems to just keep getting bigger and bigger. How many pixels can we cram into an inch? At what point does it stop mattering? As the pixels become smaller and smaller, will they just technically start to look like real life? Or is it something that will eventually plateau out? And if so, when? Can games be detailed enough? Hi folks, it's Falcon. And today on Game Ranks, we ask the question, will video game resolutions continue to increase? Back in 1989, the Nintendo Entertainment System was released. It did not have a high resolution. The NES created images that stood at 256 pixels by 240 pixels, which being that there were 520 lines of resolution from the top to bottom on an NTSC television was even at the time quite a bit of wasted potential. In the decades since, we've seen video games go from simple sprite-based affairs to high-resolution polygon extravaganza. And as that has progressed, we've also seen a marked improvement in hardware that displays the games for us. Where we used to be playing games on NTSC television sets with 525 scan lines, now with TV sets and monitors that sit at resolutions significantly higher. 4K, for instance, also known as Ultra HD or UHD, has 2160 lines. It's referred to as 2160p, as lines are typically now progressive as opposed to interlaced. Let's not get into that, it's horrible. Interlacing was very bad, and moving to progressive was very good. A 4K display is technically 8.3 megapixels, and is pretty damn impressive when you look at it. Considering where we were just a couple of decades ago, literally in standard definition, quickly moving to 720p, 1080p, then to 2K and 4K, which depending on who you talk to, 1080p might be the standard, 2K might be the standard, and 4K might be the standard. Certainly there's a lot of calls to make certain things the standard, but consider how quickly it's been developed. When people buy a TV, they don't buy it with the intention of buying a new one next year. In fact, most people would rather own a TV for more than 5 years. And some people get lucky enough to own a TV for 10 years. Obviously, the amount of time a television lasts for has gone down over time, and that is partly due to the increase in resolution, on account people are less and less likely to accept even a single dead pixel, and obviously having more and more pixels creates more and more chances for a pixel to die. There are of course other reasons, like planned obsolescence, and like unfortunate household accidents. That happens. And nobody usually thinks to save the TV when the house is burning down. It's usually like a child or a pet or something like that. There are a number of people who will tell you without any doubt that 300 pixels per inch is as high as it needs to be, and the human eye cannot tell beyond that. And sure, it's possible from across the room, like on a television, but people don't all play video games that way. A lot of people play video games on a monitor, or multiple monitors, and typically your head is a lot closer to that. There's a number of scientists in both the physical printer and illuminated display fields that have agreed on a term called apparent resolution. Now apparent resolution has to do with the size of your screen, the resolution of your screen, and how far you are from the screen. And because the human eye does not see things in pixels, we generally talk about this in DPI, dots per inch, or PPI, pixels per inch, not as though these are analogous to how the human eye works. As I said just a moment ago, 300 pixels per inch is what a lot of people consider to be as high as it needs to be, and the human eye probably won't care as long as it's a decent distance away. That being said, the way we all see is very, very unique to each and every individual, and there are people who can see much, much better than that. People with 2020 image tend to have a better perception of extremely detailed objects on account their eyes are giving them a very high focus version of those objects. That is to say, somebody who views a photo that was developed in a dark room with a high quality camera, if both their eyes and understanding of what a dark room photo looks like versus a digital print, they will likely be able to pretty easily tell the difference between that photo and one that has been scanned into the computer and printed through a digital printer. Now the real question there is, is there a number that would make it imperceptible? Probably not, on account there's probably differences that have nothing to do with the actual resolution. However, for the purposes of resolution, there may be a point where that's not actually the reason that people can tell the difference between the two types of media. And ultimately, it is not even just about how exactly sharp 
your eyes see an image, it's also in your taste. In the realm of photography, there are people that do not like incredibly sharp images but prefer a softer, more vintage effect that can sometimes only be achieved by using lenses that are slightly softer. Using a lens like that would probably minimize the need for a larger amount of pixels as there may not even be data to fill all of those pixels. But an artistically created photo may not even necessitate the extra detail. As far as art goes, there is a point where things like resolution stop mattering. Just like, technically speaking, there is a point where the human eye cannot perceive more detail. In our last video, we talked about why video games look better at 4K even when scaled down to a 1080p display than if their native resolution is 1080p. And it's not because the pixels actually look any different to anybody. Ultimately, starting with a bigger image and scaling it down means that more data is still input and average to the situation and yields a better quality image. There are other reasons and I recommend watching that video, I think it's a pretty good one. But here's the thing to think about. If it works that way for screens, and all of the objects in real life are technically much, much higher resolution than anything on a television, then it stands to reason that the amount of pixels per inch may not technically matter at some point, but it also may yield a better look, something unexplainable by technical specifications. I won't say to you that that's definitely the case, but I think that it's important to consider it as a possibility. And understanding that a pixel, even a very, very small one, is not by any means the smallest thing we're able to produce, it's reasonable to assume that pixels will continue to get smaller. Technology is always pushing forward, always getting better, and there's probably not an actual technological limit on how many pixels could be in a display. And certainly there are places where the apparent resolution is always going to be lower than if you were seeing it on a monitor or on a TV screen, like in a movie theater. I mean, there's always going to be screens that are bigger than the screen that you use right now, unless you happen to be the world record holder for biggest TV, which there's only one of you out there, and I am not speaking directly to that person by any means. There are people with home movie theater screens much larger than a television that they do use to play video games on. There are even movie theaters that rent out their projectors to play video games on. Technically, to achieve the same kind of pixels per inch that you might see on a television with any one of those displays would require significantly more pixels on screen. But even if it does get better than our eyes, keep in mind, every object around you right now, other than your screens, does not have a pixel per inch resolution, meaning there's always more pixels per inch in the search for a lifelike digital image. So if the question is, will video game resolutions continue to increase, I would say that even if it were to slow at some point, it will probably continue to increase indefinitely. That is, as long as we're still using screens. Whenever we start plugging our video games directly into the back of our heads, that's probably when game resolutions will stop increasing. And I think that's a pretty long way off. This is, I hope, a simple explainer that brings us all up to speed, puts us all on the same page, but there are obviously more intricate levels of this discussion that you are more than welcome to have in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, and if you're not subscribed now, it would of course be a good time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week, and the best way to see them first is of course a subscription. As always, thank you very much for watching this one. I'm Falcon, you can follow me on Twitter, at FalconTheHero, and we'll see you next time, right here on GameRanks.